This is my favorite story of the day. How did a rock star end up at the head of the class? Senior instructor James Cassidy leads one of the most popular classes at Oregon State University. Now he says his previous career playing for thousands of fans is the key to his current success. Our Lisa Balick shows you how he went from the stage <laughs> to soil in the special report. So they ooze out enzymes that dissolve the wood. They suck up what they want, but a bunch of it gets loose and it flows down and gets part of a clay crystal again. As has probably happened to every atom in your body billions of times already. The subject is soil. So let's look at it up close. It sounds pretty dry. So you have to dig a little deeper to uncover why this is one of the most popular classes at Oregon State University. Mm -hmm. Going the wrong way on that. It's senior instructor James Cassidy who attracts students from 40 different majors. I'm a history major. What makes him good? He knows how to talk to the students in a way that they can understand. And well, there it is. Welcome home. But hidden here are clues as to why he's such a great performer on the campus classroom. This is Information Society, an electronic pop dance band Cassidy formed while in high school. You know, I was a stoner, rock and roller, not in a D minus student in high school. You know, I was more interested in social life and music. After a few years, that band got noticed. We had a big underground dance hit in New York with uh, all Latino clubs. Called? Uh, name of the song, Running. That's Cassidy playing bass. Their hit song, What's On Your Mind, Pure Energy, climbed onto Billboard Magazine's Top 100. Cassidy suddenly was playing in front of 135,000 screaming fans. So we were like a phenomenon. It was like Robin Banks, it was awesome. So what's a nice rock star like this doing in a place like this? When the band broke up in 1993, Cassidy wasn't sure exactly what to do, but he knew he had to find a new line of work. He looked through some career catalogs and landed on fisheries. I didn't go to college I was 30. Fish and water led him to study soil. And while working on a master's degree at OSU, it has to do with parametral, yeah. He was asked to step onto the classroom stage. And then they asked me to teach. And I remember just being super prepared and I came out onto the stage and the lights were on and I was like, oh, I know this. They can hold more nutrients and therefore grow more stuff, capture more energy from sound carbon from the atmosphere, right? And all that jazz. Now, 15 years later. I just love it because I'm learning more every time I teach. He's a performer. And so uh, that makes it so that he can connect with the students very easily. Oh, and that music career, it's still going strong. The band reunited in 2007. Information Society still drawing international crowds. This is called the unit cell. Cassidy splits his time between class and stage, sharing with his students what he's learned along the way. The message is obviously pay attention to stuff. It really matters, and it really matters to you personally. But whatever you do, you know, do what you like. Do what you want to do, and you'll be better at it than anyone else. In Corvallis, Lisa Bailey, Coin6 News. Good story, I right? Saw, I saw Information Society perform 1989. Oh my. Disneyland, gra <laughs> Grad Night. Uh, we saw them do a couple of uh, songs, and the guys went out to see Samantha Fox perform, and the girls went to see New Kids on the Block. Oh! But I, I saw information. Oh my that. gosh! Well, it shows you too that how much that really does play into him being a successful professor. Yes, he has two different lives put him to one, and you know they still tour around the world mm -hmm. and they tour Brazil every fall. Wow! You can uh, catch Cassidy here. Need a little help uh -huh. down. Uh, giving talks about soil science all around the state to garden clubs. There's master gardeners, there are science enthusiasts, so he is available uh, if you'd like to listen to him. He also has talks scheduled in Seattle and BC this March. There is so much more information on them if you are interested. You can find all of that at coin.com. I know what I'm listening to on the ride home tonight. <laughs> and you know what? I might go to Corvallis and audit that class.